In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the prep of one of the very first uh, fossil fish that I ever made. Uh, this is a fish from the Green River uh, formation in just outside of Kimmerer, Wyoming. Uh, this was this is from the 18 inch layer, I believe. I did not recover this uh, fossil myself. One of my friends did. Uh, when I first uh, got my air scribe set up, I wanted to practice on some different uh, kinds of uh, fossils that I hadn't worked on before. And so I said, hey, does anybody have any kind of uh, scrap or anything broken that you don't want? And, uh, you know, something I could practice on and not have to worry about damaging it. Okay, and so he had sent me this piece that it was one uh, he didn't really want to work. He knew there was a fish on it. Uh, on the other side of this, he could see the outline of it. Um, but it had, the slab had broken. Uh, it had broken again while he was trying to cut it. So he wasn't really interested in uh, working on it anymore. So he let me have it really cheap. Um, and the other side is already prepped, so I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, but this is basically, you know, pretty ugly looking. So I just had to start in uh, basically on the end where I thought it was going to be and uh, start working down to it. Now here in this first shot, uh, you, this is after I had, I had already worked my way down to it. You can see by the depth uh, of the rock, it was down in there quite a ways. Uh, initially, I wasn't even sure if there I was going to find something in there or not. Uh, but I kept working down. Finally, I was working on it here on the very end of the tail. And uh, I finally found it, and I started working my way backwards, uh, kind of working along the original split line and uh, towards then towards one side. And, of course, I, I had no idea what kind of fish this was. I kept uh, working along. I finally started to uncover uh, some of what turned out to be uh, the anal fin. And... Uh, I was really amazed as I was prepping this out, uh, the detail. Now, you can see on these uh, little bitty spines in here of the tail fin that are showing. And this isn't even completely prepped out. These will look even better once I'm 100% done with this, which even right now I'm not done. Uh, I've still got a tiny bit left I want to do to it. When I got to this point here, uh, you can see I've just started to get into the head. Uh, this uh, large uh, angled sp piece right here is the back edge of the uh, operculum, uh, which is the gill plate. And at this point, uh, I started asking, I said, I sent him a picture and I said, hey, uh, what kind of fish is that? And, and of course, he knew immediately what it was. And so then I just went online and I looked up what a complete fish would look like. And this was a picture I found. And I was from the same quarry, the, the rock is a little bit different. Um, but you can see uh, it has the same it has the same layout as my fish. And so what I wanted to do, I want to see, okay, well, I don't know exactly where this fish is going. Uh, how far up and down and side to side I still have to go. So what I did was I put it into uh, a paint shop. And I overlaid the complete fish over what I had so far. And then I uh, I shrunk it and uh, made it fit the the landmarks that I had. And then you see, once they're combined, voila. Now I had a picture I could look at and I could uh, take some reference measurements and see exactly where everything should be. And that way I could lay it out on the rock. And so I started, I after I got it marked out, I started prepping some more and then it, you know, it finally hit me, hey, I should start making a video of this. <laughs> because up until now, this was all just practice. I I didn't know, I figured I was going to completely screw this thing up, figuring out how to prep it. But everything was going really good. Uh, so I was like, I better start shooting some video.
Make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, then be sure and subscribe so you can stay up to date. I'll have new videos out. I try to put out one, one a week on Fossil Friday. So stay tuned. I'll have more.